be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, August 5th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. As we're heading into the weekend, I'm sure most of you have heard by now that we're going to see Kamal Gargney competing in the open category for the first time in his career at the Tampa Pro, which is certainly going to be something. So don't forget to check out next week's Recap Wednesday for a full rundown of all the action. But the reason we're leading off the show today with a story about Kamal isn't because of what he's about to do tomorrow in Tampa. It's actually because of a rumor that started swirling around a few days ago about him potentially deciding to throw his name into the Texas Pro next weekend, where we'll be expecting to see a strong lineup in the open as it is. Now, whether or not there's any truth to these rumors is anyone's guess. But the fact that he's already in contest shape and that they're only seven days apart does make it feel like there could be some validity here. And depending on how things shake out in Tampa, if he does end up bringing home the open title, then it might open up a door for a trip out to Texas to become even more of a possibility. If you're planning to tune into the action at the Tampa Pro this weekend, the other storyline that you might want to keep an eye on heading into the prejudging is what's happening with Akeem Williams as he's about to make his season debut. Akeem should be heading into Tampa with a full head of steam considering the fact that this is probably the longest break that he's had between shows in the last few years. And if you can remember back to late February, early March, there were a handful of people who were forgetting him as a dark horse to win the Arnold before he had to pull out due to some health issues. But with that being said, all the reports coming from Akeem's camp seem to point towards him being ready to pick right back up where he left off at the end of the 2021 season when he placed sixth at the Olympia. And if this is the case, it might not matter who else is in that open lineup because a 100% Akeem Williams is a handful for anyone to deal with. A few weeks ago when Michael Crizzo announced that he was making the jump from the IFBB elite over to the pro league, he essentially became one of the biggest stories in bodybuilding overnight. But as we said at the time, before he can ever step onto an IFBB Pro stage, he will need to earn a Pro card at a Pro Qualifier event before we can even begin to start having any sort of conversation about him securing a spot to compete at the Olympia later this year. And at least for the moment, it looks like at least one piece of that puzzle is starting to come together. A few days ago, a rumor started to circulate about Michael targeting the Prague Pro as a potential destination for him to make his Pro debut. And one of the really interesting things about the way this lines up is that Prague is actually one of the last shows on the IFBB calendar that acts as a qualifier for the 2022 Olympia. So if you're putting two and two together, that means that he would have to win a pro qualifier at some point between now and October to give him enough time to make this all work. Now, whether or not everything can go as planned is another story altogether, but it doesn't seem like anything is set in stone here. But if there is any truth to what we're hearing, then these next few months are going to be interesting because this guy could easily wind up being one of the biggest stories in bodybuilding as we head down the back stretch. And before we sign off for the weekend, we have another brand new update coming your way from our reigning and defending two-time Olympia champ, Big Rammy, who is looking absolutely massive lately for those of you who haven't been paying attention. This might just be a little bit of recent bias, but Rami's training really does feel like it's on another level lately because it seems like we're seeing him move bigger numbers on the bar now that he has at any point during his title run. Even though people are fired up about guys like Nick Walker and Hadi Shupin or maybe even a wild card like Michael Crizzo making a run at the title, the fact of the matter is that Rami's sitting at the head of the table for a reason. And if he's going to spend the next five months dialed in like this, it makes it hard to see a scenario where someone finds a way to pull off the upset. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.